This is extreme right here. We've got a vehicle that we ran through the mobile data terminal, and the registered owner doesn't have a valid driver's license. Hi, my name is Officer Dolman with the Des Moines Police. Do you have a driver's license? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, are you the registered owner of the vehicle? I live right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I live right there on 31st. I didn't I didn't turn because I saw you in the middle of the street, so uh, that's Yeah, fine. I mean I got the registration here. Do you have an ID on you at all? My school ID. Well, I need you to step out of the car for me. Yeah. Put your hands up there. Do you have anything on you I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing, no weapons, any no, drugs or anything no. like that. Okay. okay, go ahead and step around to the back here of the car for me. Uh, well, you have no driver's license, of course. You can't be driving on city uh, streets. You have I'm no... I'm trying to make a buck, man, fixing stereos, sir. I understand. Well, I've got to write you a few tickets. OK, so I need you to sit on the curb for me. Yes, sir. Is, uh, can I turn the engine off? Because it's going to kill the battery. Yeah, I'll turn it off. OK. I'll get it. Hey, Natalie. I pulled over uh, Marlon here. Yeah. He's driving his friend's car, his friend, uh, and the registration has no driver's license. Uh, he has no driver's license either. They have no insurance. Of course. Just want to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. out those tickets. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. We're running Marlin's information one more time. He gave me a middle initial he thought that they put in the last time he had a ticket. I'm not finding his name. No, he's running. Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Are you done? 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 you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are I'm done, okay, please. Do you I'm want your hand? Well, I want your head to tackle you. I know, but it's because I got scared. I want to go to jail, man. Well, now you are going to go to jail. Yeah. I've got to get in chair. Roll over. Yeah. Sit up. Yeah. Can I pull my hand? No. Oh, I think it might be locked. Yeah. Just stay there. What do you keep reaching for? I'm trying to pull my pencil in my pen. All right. That's quite a bit of stuff you got here. She can bud. Huh? And you have no time. Really? <laughs> you need to get on the side. Quit wrestling. You think you're going to run away? Well, well, if I try, maybe it can no. get away. <laughs> I'm trying, man. You know, I'm going, man. Yeah, man. Get in the car. You are now. Get in. While you're in the car running his information, um, I asked him to just kick off his shoes because he's just kind of acting a little bit hanky. And turns out he had four bags of wheat in his shoe. Ed, our, why did you decide to run? Because I was scared. I thought you, I didn't want, really didn't want to go to jail. And after you were in cuffs, wh wh where were you going to go when you started running away? As far as I could. Last, my last minute of freedom. As far as I could. Take him off to jail. Yeah? Yeah. You are. Oh, you hit my head! We're about to arrive on an apartment complex where a, uh, a male and his girlfriend 
possibly got into a domestic violence situation and resulting in some type of battery. What's up, boss? How you doing? Uh, come on outside. He's in the bed. You gonna get out of bed? Get up. Come on outside. What's going on, man? Don't know. Hey, what's your name? Sean. What, Sean? No. They had a fight. Quit eating and talk to me. I can't hear you when you're chewing. Hey, I'm watching TV, dude. Okay. Oh, you can go back to watching I'll TV go back and tell me what's TV, going on. Dude. What's going on? We just can't out. Nothing. You guys fighting? Yeah. She done ran off. Got it off. That's fine. Who, your girl? Yeah. What were you guys fighting about? Don't know. Benny? You hear None of your business. Well, it is my business. Well, it ain't. Because it is. there ain't no... Hands been putting on her one, just a little loudness. I'll go back to watch TV, that's it. Okay, so you didn't beat on her? <laughs> Maurice, what can we do to resolve the problem tonight? Just go away. Go away? Is that what you'd like us to do? I was watching TV and I was doing my own thing. How long have you guys been together? About five months. Okay. And has, it, has this happened before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Has, have the police ever been involved other than tonight? Anybody go to jail? No. So he's never hit on you? No. No, no just, just verbal? Yeah, it's been verbal. So I mean, he's pretty angry. He gets angry, that's, I don't understand why. Ben. She's it's gonna stay. Come in house. She's gonna stay with dad and he's hitting the road. Oh, you're leaving. You're getting trespassed. You can't come back here ever again. <clears throat> if you do, you'll go to jail. Okay, let me get my coat. Well, hold on. Yes. <clears throat> it's not your dad. <clears throat> Yeah. Security doesn't want you here. You guys want no. to read, uh... It was over now. Now they just made it worse. Where are you going? Well, they just made it worse. Come here, we're not done with you. You don't want to go to jail, right? <laughs> well, it's a place to sleep tonight, ain't it? Not a good place. What? It, everything was cool up until now. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I was watching TV. Everything was cool. No, it's not cool until yeah, we well, make it. Cool. Now that you're leaving, everything will continue to be cool. Yeah. Where are you going? We're not done with you. Where are you going? Come on, your shoes. Put on your shoes. Every time! I was cool! Yeah! That's right! I'm getting them back! Come on! Okay, I'm giving you one chance. You put on your shoes. I got 24 hours in that Be quiet. You can walk away, you can go to jail. What do you want? It's up to you. Stupid! Would you read trespass so we can get him out of here? Stupid man! You want to take this, with you, Kevin? Hey, Maurice, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're gonna help you out. Take me to jail? Yep. Turn around. You gonna take me to jail? Yep. Put your hands down your back. Drop your shirt. Drop your shirt. Put your hands down your back. Now what you take me to jail for? Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Yep. Ooh, that's a big ass uh, felony. Yeah, it's that's a, a mis big felony, bro. You don't know to shut your mouth. I was leaving. Well, you should have done sooner. Yeah, yeah, you love to make things worse, huh? Yeah, I should have done it sooner. You're a. B yeah. Yeah, you are. A oh, you b hit my head. Oh, what did you have for? Oh, oh. What the Our only option is to transport him to CCDC and book him. That should at least 
give a few hours of cool down time for him. And if he comes back on property, he'll be arrested for trespassing. Yeah. Got a foot pursuit. Apparently, a guy threw a baggie of uh, narcotics, and uh, he's got his car, and the guy's in the area hiding somewhere. So we're going to go see if we can help find him. <laughs> Joe, he's either in B or C. OK. So okay. He came out of here. I was just kind of just going wah, 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 like that, shine light on him. Next thing you know, he's, shh, he's no, back. No, but he went here. right here. Yeah. OK. He's supposed he's, to be here. OK. You can tell me what he looks like, right? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Tennessee. What's up, Is this, this place vacant next door? Yeah. Is some dude coming in your back door? No. I can hear somebody upstairs. Who's upstairs? Mom. We can come in, right, bro? All right, come on. Here. Who's up there, bro? Listen, hey, sit right there, Tennessee. Okay, somebody upstairs? No, no, no. Okay. Let's go. Get a 33. Get a 33, please. Okay, Joe, you're lethal. I'm going to tase if we have to. Okay. We're out the police. It's you're upstairs. You show yourself. We will find you. We're not going to play games. I heard you up here. You in there? Come on. Yeah. Okay. You think I'm kidding? Come on. I'm gonna tase you right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. You think we're stupid? Get your hands out or I'm gonna tase you. Hands. All right, you go. Put them out now. Wait, my, my arm is dislocated. Officer, all right, my arm is dislocated. The left one. The left one, please. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, uh. Frank 52, go for He is in custody. Why don't you listen? You didn't think I was, we were gonna come get you? Yeah. All right. You good, Joe? Good. All right, buddy, there you go. Good job. Just take, just take him down, put him in the car. <sighs> What you running for, man? Because I know I'm on probation. I'm in a drug infested area. And you threw some. Because my partner got what you threw. He watched you. I didn't throw anything. That yours? No, officer. That's why I saw it go like this, right? Oh, it's your girlfriend's car. Yes, sir. Where's your girlfriend at? She's at home. That wasn't you getting the driver's seat, right? Was, that wasn't you. That's not your hat in the alleyway, right? Yeah, that's my hat. That's I was your hat? In, I'm in a drug infested area, and I'm on probation. You're on probation in a drug infested area, and you're running from the police? Yes, officer. That's interesting. Let's go put you in my car for a few. Come on. Are you guys going to tow the car? Cash. Tires. A little bit of math. Well, how's my, how's my cash gone? Because of that. That have to do with taking my money out of my wallet. When we're arresting somebody for sales of narcotics and they got money, that's going with it. $106? I guess I'm going to have to fight it if you guys are about to take me to jail. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not about to. We are. Right now we're en route to a domestic disturbance. This is actually a house that I've responded to several times in the past. Only the last information that was just given by a juvenile saying that somebody was about to possibly get uh, murdered. I get him, he's my brother, I get him. I get him, 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 I get do you understand your rights? Yes, I do understand my rights. My other co Okay. Party. All right, having yeah. your rights in mind, do you want to talk to me right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what's going on today while you're over here. Okay. The reason why I'm over here right now, um, my landlord called me. The landlord is his house right here. All right? The rent can't be paid. So you just came here to talk to her about the about the rent? I just called to talk. I, I mean, I've been called. I talked to her mom and everything. I just called to talk to her about the rent. Were you threatening her at all? No. I, you weren't threatening her? No, I, did you no. did you touch her at all? Did you push her, punch her, grab her, nope, nope, strangle nope, her? Nope, nope, nope. I, Look, man, I know, I know you're over here. You want to see your kids. Hey, you know, hey, I know you want to take care of the rent and everything. I'm, I'm okay, like listen, this. listen to me. I listen, let me talk. Baby. I understand that. Um, but when I come in there and I tell you you need to get off, 
Okay, and you need to get on the ground. You need to I do. Know, I don't know who's on me. Okay. I mean, I had Will on me at first. Okay. You may not have known it was me right no, at I, first, I, I but after know. after about two seconds, you knew it was me. Okay. I know you knew it was me. You're looking right at me. Okay. Me, I knew it was something. Okay. Else, he didn't have no taser. All right. He yes. He didn't have no taser. Okay. So, so I knew it was you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. You want to give me the rundown? What happened? He called on the phone. Okay. He was cursing and he was yelling on the phone. She begged him not to come over here. Please don't come over here. He don't care That's nothing about my kids because you know protective services are involved in it now. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to be around the kids or us. Period. Mm -hmm. Them people, you know, I'm coming. So when I see his car coming, I call 311. Okay. And so they, so she said, well, when he get there, call 911. So then by that time, he was in the house and stuff, and I was scared. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What happened? I begged him not to come. I'm thinking he wasn't gonna come because he already okay. knows CPS is involved. He already know you guys no. are involved. Okay. You know, and I'm like, please don't come over here. I don't got time for this. Thing. Okay. okay. So, next thing I know, he's pulling up. Did he, did he say anything about him? Uh, he was gonna hit you, or he was gonna. Yeah, he said he was gonna beat my ass. Is that exactly how he said yeah. it? Yeah. Did you put okay. it on there? Make sure you put that document that in your yeah, statement. I think I did. And then did he come towards you after he said that or no? Yeah, he was finna hit her. He came. When he okay. when so he, he was walking he towards was, you. Yeah, he, he was said, in my face. He drew his arm and he you grabbed his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that, buddy? Where'd you go? Yeah. He called him just in time. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for burglary, obstructing. No, 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 no. Not no yes, burglary. burglary. My house. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, listen, listen to me. The me what favor, burglary sir. is? Do burglary me does me not mean breaking into a house and stealing stuff. No. Burglary means going into any structure with, in with intent to commit grand or petty larceny, any felony, or None assault or battery. None 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 okay. Do me a favor. All right. That's something that Go you can bring up court. in court. That you can fight in court and he hit me right in my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. We had good citizens that saw you do it and turned you in. What's up? Nothing. You gotta, you gotta take it somewhere else. Uh, yeah. We're going home now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right. sitting there. This guy comes over and started blessing me, beating me. That guy did? Yeah. That's not. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to, to okay. his girlfriend. Hang tight. He's got to take off. He just got punched by a male. He's right there. How far down, dude? I'm not going Where's he at? You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Put your hands up there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, right we'll, right take you, we'll take you and tell, you tell us where he's at. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, For real. Did. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, she was. No, I don't know. Yeah. I live right here. For real. You were together with him. Where do you live at? He was asking right you if he knew me. Corner. I don't know where he's at. For real. No, don't seriously. Worry. You I saw what happened. No, seriously. You I, with him. I, I, you want to search her real quick? All right, we're coming now. They got him. We got to locate on him. Thank you. So we're about to get this mail. We the got suspect. him. Yeah, Tiene. Gracias. Um, as it started, we were going to a 911 hang-up call, and this gentleman waved us down that he was assaulted. So we have his girlfriend and the male. We're here where we started at. He backtracked, came back to the bar. What, what exactly happened when you when you? I just I walked in, mm -hmm. and pulled the chair, sat down, and he was with this girl. So I I, I ordered a beer. The beer came. One sip, I took. As soon as I put the beer down, I felt like so the building just collapsed on me. He was standing right behind me. You know, preparing a punch, I, I, I'm on the way because, you know. Right. I, I, right. Sneak I'm, attack. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. He snuck me. And he hit me. You know, I shook it and tried to stand up. He crossed me and I don't want to write it in my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? What is this? Who is this? What's going on? Right. Then he went around the block, changed into a shirt and a, a cap. And then I sat down at the bus stop. And when I sat down at the bus stop, I said, well, there's an awful lot of cops out here tonight for some reason. He said, well, 
why are you worried about it? Well, I looked down at his stomach and seen that he was breathing hard, so that indicated to me that it had to be the gentleman that ran out of the bar. Right. That's when I, I uh, flagged down an officer and they arrested him. Look, is that her? Yeah, that's her. That's her? Yeah. Okay. That's her. All right. She's the one. He probably wanted to show off for his girlfriend. All right. Wow, that's... All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm All right. Fine. Yeah, go enjoy. Do you enjoy your night, okay? I'll try. I'll All try. right. Book them both on the assault charges, and uh, because she was supposedly chasing him okay. along with our male suspect. So you went? What? You went and changed and everything? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. I saw you. You, you, saw you took off on me. I went. I was walking from 25, 55. No, you weren't. You, you ran. You just can't go sit, sitting there punching people in the head if all you want. We got witnesses. We have good citizens that saw you do it, and citizens turned you in. There are people that do care. And even your girlfriend even ID'd you. Yeah, have you. Enjoy jail. Edward 10, 1059. Edward 10, go ahead. Uh, I got a truck right up here in front of me. that He just rolled this stop sign right here. So we're going to go ahead and get up behind him, initiate a traffic stop, and see what his hurry is all about. Edward 10. We're going to be, looks like southbound on Rosedale, and be coming into a residence at about, I'm trying to see the address here, stand by. Going to be Oklahoma Tag, Adam John Union. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm not too far off. I'll back. Edward 10. 10-4. Edward 10, 10, 10 63 foot pursuit. 10 we're Edward 10, I just lost him. I'm gonna be uh, right over here off of West Admiral Boulevard in Rosedale. Came down through here. I thought he got caught in the bushes right here. He had red shirt, blue jeans. He came through here. I couldn't find him over here. He went this way somewhere. I think he's, I think. He got east of here? I don't think so. I think he laid down in here somewhere. If you can go right up here. Edward 10. Man, if we could, go ahead and all units out here on this scene. Switch over to RMA-2B. Could you bring RMA-2B up and patch everybody together on that side, please? All county units go to RMA-2B. Dog's gonna be out here. Uh, if we could, get somebody to monitor that for traffic. Okay, for? Okay. Yeah, white male, he's wearing blue jeans. Is he yelling? Is he yelling? Got subject in the yard over here. I'm breaking. Let's get him up. I'm breaking. Oh. Don't fight me. Oh, my muscle. Don't. I need some help. Yeah. Handcuffing him. Oh, no. You got your dog. I just need to get up. Give me your hands. I'm tasing you now. I got to. I can't. Hold on, please. Don't run next time, buddy. Oh, Bring your feet up underneath you. Oh, get up. One, two, three. Get back on my I can't stand, man. Need a hand? I can't stand. Now yeah, roll over. Standing up. One, two, three, let's go. I can't. Oh, come on. Have Ensign roll over here for a dog bite. What's your name, Dead Bird, man? Brett, huh? Richard? No, Brett. Right Brett? There. What's your date of birth, man? Seven. Six. Seven, Can I six. please have something to drink? Please, I'm done. When Emerson gets here, they'll get I'm oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh.
<laughs> you're a man. Man up. Man up. I'm already hurt. If you're tough enough to have two sleeves, <laughs> you're tough enough to take a dog bite. Yes, now man up. I just want to live a normal life. Well, you gonna you know what? May, maybe I'm after leaving. you get out maybe after you get out of county you can try to get This vehicle's stolen. They got some precursor items here for uh, methamphetamine. And I'm very familiar with this guy that uh, we have arrested. And uh, that was his old deal of choice. So we'll see. Uh, right now, he's going to be under arrest for possession of stolen vehicle, possession of precursor substances, resisting, and fleeing. Oh, you're not just chilling, bro. You're trying to duck me, bro. That weed scent got stronger as soon as I shook your pants. Got a blunt on. Oh, blunt, where? In my cheek, bro. In your cheek? Yes, Let it out. Trying to catch up to a vehicle or driving at a high rate of speed through the area. It look like they're ducking some corners. Three four three. Three four three. Got a ninety nine, one thousand block of Hopkins. Be at Martha towards Cameron. Be a white Honda Accord. Victor one hundred five two. Be at a stop, twelve hundred block of Cameron. Driver exit. Step out, man. Let me see your hands. You stand over here to the front of my car. Four, three. Huh? What you doing, man? I'm just chilling, man. No, you're not just chilling, bro. You trying to duck me, bro. No, we come back from the car. No, you ain't came back from the car, wash, bro. You trying to duck me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, whenever I tell you to open your eyes, open. Close them. Close them. Keep your mouth shut. Just close your eyes. Whenever I tell you to open them, open them, all right? Go ahead, open. No, open your eyes. Oh, my mind. My man, you on something? You have Where no doubt. You have no constriction of your pupil. Hello, Paul. You're Hello, not gonna Paul. find Brillo on so many places, you know. Yeah, For only so many reasons, you know what I'm saying? When I come across the railroad tracks, I seen you turn. That's when I got behind, and that's when you started accelerating, trying to duck me. I can't, I can't so now you gonna honestly that. tell me what you chewed no, I'm up? I'm trying to see what he's saying. Cause what I you know, chewed? No, I ain't chewed nothing, sir. Look. Bro, your tongue all white, man. Look, man. Look. Let him wipe it off, bro. No, 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 dog on my tongue. No, I came out Bienville, South Bienville like that. I went around the street. I went like that. I went straight. You kicking something over there. You kicking something over there. Loosen up your cheeks, bro. That, that weed scent getting stronger at some school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh-uh, that weed wasn't that strong a few seconds ago. Uh-uh. I ain't selling no bro. That weed scent got stronger as soon as I shook your pants. What's that right there, man? I got a blunt on. A oh, blunt, where? In my cheek, bro. In your cheek? Yes, Let it out. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Give me a hand, man. Put him in cuffs, bro. It's tucked in his. No, blood officer? No, but what I did... Yeah, what you got tucked in between your cheeks, bro? As soon as I grabbed right there, bro, you tighten up. You said they no, had something officer, right there. No, I ain't got nothing, Man, bro, I know. I ain't bro, smoking. What you stuck in between your cheeks, bro? No, I said I, I, I probably had some weed in my pocket or half a blunt or something. No, man, come on, bro. Man, you can search me, officer, man. Come on, man. man. Don't do that, bro. I got a little bit of weed. What? Yeah, in my cheek. All right, get it out. I ain't selling no dope, bro. That's all you got right here. Come sit in the back seat of my car, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check the back seat of my car, and if there's nothing in there, and then when I put you in there and I check it again, there's something in there, you know that's yours, okay? Right here, we got a small bag of high grade marijuana that he admitted to having concealed in his anal area that he retrieved for us voluntarily. Listen. You could have made it easy on yourself and told us, bro, from the beginning that you had that. Man, that you had that crack pipe, my man. Who? That was your pipe, my man. Crack pipe, man. Listen, listen. Man, come on, man. Y'all go summons me, man. Listen, but listen, I'm trying to help you out. Listen, I am going to summons you, OK? But I still got to go to jail? Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. If you'd have just said, officer, listen, I got this crack pipe. I don't have, I didn't have no crack pipe, man. So that I, wasn't yours? That wasn't my crack pipe, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you going to get charged with it, my man. You made that hard on yourself, right? You made that decision. Yes, sir. All right? What happened? I was kind of speed. Yeah, and, 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 and look, turning corner to corner, man. Yeah. 
You never know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't lying to you. I didn't tell you. I know. I didn't smile at nothing. I know. You're getting charged with the possession of marijuana. All right? Well, look, sir, bro. Listen. I ain't selling no drugs, man. You're getting charged with possession of marijuana. All right? Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. I'm gonna make a traffic stop on this green Ford Taurus. Uh, it's got no license plate, no temperament, and there is a recently stolen one matching this description. 975, we're gonna be about 89th and Powell. And if there's a close car, code one cover, please. Is this your car? No, is this my friend? It's your friend's car? Yeah. Okay. How come you don't have a license plate? My driving license is suspended. Yeah. Okay. Please. I want you to take your keys out and hand me the keys. This is no keys. It's a no keys car. This is my friend. No keys. Yeah. It's not my. How car. do you start the car then? What? How do you start the car? Would not understand it. What's your friend's name? My friend is uh, two, uh, two name is Mosca. No, I don't know his name original. Mosca is my friend. Okay. Okay. So you don't really know your friend's name? Uh, no, no, I don't know what is the name original the, the, the Okay. Okay. So, so Mosca, it's your friend's it's car and you don't know your friend's name? No. Have you ever had an Oregon driver's license? Who? Have you ever had a driver's license? What? Have you had a driver's license in Oregon? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So you should be in our system, in DMV? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is your first name? Uh, Mosca. Can you spell that for me? Who? Spell your first name. My name? Yeah. What? What is spelled? How do you spell your name? What is spelled? My two number? Oh, you're killing me. Step out of the car. Okay. Let's go have a seat in this car, okay? You don't understand what I'm saying, so just have a seat for now. Ah, yeah. I'm running the VIN on the car, the license plate that was in the windshield, actually comes back to a Ford Thunderbird, um, which this is a Ford Taurus, so. And it's a stolen car. It's actually the one on the hot sheet that I've been looking for. All righty, I'm Officer Botitis. I'm going to figure out who you are. Do you have ID? No, it's my DS go, pero es. It's at home? Yeah. Okay. He says my, he has uh, a no, suspended license. Right now, no house. Right oh. now, it's a suspended did you, did you give your true name to the officer already? Yeah. You did? Yeah, my name is me. That's your name? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that's your name. If it's not your name, yeah. And, you're, and you're not telling the truth to the officer, you can be charged with separate crimes. Do you understand that? It's my name. It's uh, called an IBIS machine that takes fingerprints and it, it tells us does belong to uh, somebody, then it's identified by one of our ID techs up in our identification division. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have, have you go ahead and place no, your right thumb. Okay, yeah. Right thumb. Yeah. There you go. And I'm just going to have you relax it, okay? Just relax. Let me push, okay? You don't push. I'll take care of pushing, all right? Okay, alrighty. It'll transfer the thumbprints over to this machine, and then once it has the information, it'll send it up to the computer. This is my car. I know, it's a stolen car. No, it's my car. I know it's not your car, okay? You were yeah, driving it. Possession of a stolen vehicle, it's a stolen car. Okay? Yeah, pero no es my car. All right. It's trouble, it's trouble, it's everything, it's trouble. Well, you took it from a friend you don't even it's know trouble. the name of. Let me talk to him, Victor, it's trouble. It's trouble for me. It's trouble check, it's trouble computer, it's all it's trouble for me. The people, I don't know. In the United States, everything, people not good. Did you get the hit back? Yes. Let's plug, let's go ahead and I gotta plug. plug it in the Yeah, plug in that SID number as well, just to verify it. But according to what it's saying here, the name that he provided is in fact him. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, Fasto. You understand you're being arrested, correct? What? You're you're under arrest. Okay. You're going to be charged you with. You're looking computer. Can no. I mean, assault. Okay. Hey, simple. listen to me. Okay. okay. Sorry. You're under arrest. You're yeah. going to be charged with not only driving while suspended, which huh. you obviously admitted right away. Um, but also for unlawful use of a motor vehicle and possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? We got a vehicle taking off on us, going down towards 5th. Joey, just toss the gun out, man. You see it? You did all this. 
everybody. Law and Crimes Jesse Weber here. I think it's pretty obvious from how wild Cops Reloaded is that the world isn't always the safest place. Well, that is why I wanted to highlight our partner and proud sponsor of Cops Reloaded, Morgan and Morgan. You know, from watching this show, one of the most unsettling things in life is if you get hurt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. I mean, 3 million people call them every year. They've completely modernized the process to make it super easy for their clients. How? Well, you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. That is incredible to think about how quickly you can submit a claim and have them fight for you. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you can submit a claim at ForThePeople.com slash Cops Reloaded or by dialing Pound Law. That's pound 529 on your phone. I'm trying to catch up to a vehicle for uh, excessive tint on the windows, loud music, stupid traffic stop. Thirty-seven eighty-four emergency. We got a vehicle taking off on us. We're going down Robinson. He just made a uh, right turn onto Terra Street. It's a silver older Chevy Lumina. One black male driver inside. Just made a left onto uh, Burroughs. Burroughs. And a left onto the dunk car. Coming back to Robinson. He just made a right onto Robinson. Going down towards Fifth. Joe, he just tossed the gun out, man. You see it? Still going down towards fifth. Rate of speed is, right now we're going 40 miles an hour. He just turned uh, on to Fifth Avenue. Going inbound. Going inbound on fifth. Continuing inbound on fifth. We're getting ready to uh, approach uh, Kirkpatrick here. All right, he's pulling over here. We got him stopped on Fifth Avenue. Shut your car off! Shut your car off! Put your hands up! Keep him up! Unlock your car! Shut it off! Step out of here. Slide over here. You got what on you? Cough him up. Turn around. Just cuff him up. Just cuff him up. For some reason, you want to stop for us? Sir, I didn't want to go to jail for it, sir. That's it. For what? I got marijuana in my pocket. You had more marijuana. We're going to go back and get what you just threw. Sorry, Now's the time to talk to me, man. Sir, I don't want to have some sir. weed in my pocket, sir. You didn't just run because you had weed. Yes, sir. We're going to go back and get what you got. Then your attorney's going to be talking to me and begging me for deals, but there ain't going to be no deals. We're going to go back and get that gun you just threw. You hear me? I don't have no gun, sir. You don't have no gun. I just got marijuana in my pocket. You just got marijuana in your pocket. You just did all this for marijuana in your pocket. I don't want to go to jail, sir. I'm scared. I just got off from work, sir. Yeah, the burrows, make that left there. Hey, and let's the go up, Joe. Let's let them watch him, and let's go up and get what he got. All right. They're going to stay here and watch us. You guys mind watching him for a second? We'll go back up and retrace the steps. This is called in by a child. It's unknown if it's going to be a bogus call or not. Here to toss the firearm outside this alley up here. Is it Dunbar? I said Decatur, huh? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Reed right, Street. Building right there. There's his gun. Told you. There's his magazine. We're going to go back and talk to him. See if we can get the uh, story of why he threw the gun out the car. You want to talk to him? Yes. And read him his rights? Yeah. Slide down. Slide, Slide down. down here, man. So What'd I tell you? Right you gotta talk to me, man. It's your last chance to talk to us. Because after this, you're going to jail. I want to know where you got the gun from. And if it's stolen. 
you're getting charged with the VUFA, you're getting charged with fleeing and looting, you're getting charged with the marijuana, reckless driving. And if you're a convicted felon, you're going to get the 6105. And you're going to be sitting downtown for a while. Let's go. You had your chance. Remember it. Do not make any move towards that gun. He was acting, he was acting strange. I, I said something about, don't, why are you being crazy with a shotgun? Don't, don't call me crazy. Right now, I've got a partner asking for code cover, emergency response, right up around the corner. We've got an armed, suspicious vehicle. Unknown circumstances are what's happening right now. 31397. AR-15 behind you. You in the gray sweatshirt, do not make any move towards that gun. Keep your hands up. Turn and face away from my voice. Grab the collar of your shirt with your right hand. Lift it up. Turn all the way around in a circle. Keep going. Let go. Now, you're going to walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Go, start walking backwards now. You in the blue shirt, on your hands and knees, move out to the street. Stop right there. Go up on your feet with your arms raised up in the air. We got one shotgun up against the tree here. Four subjects, not sure what we have. Everybody's in custody, and we're just going to sort out what the gun was about. Came out as an armed suspicious, people arguing. Uh, showed up, saw the guy in the long sleeve sweatshirt, cradling the shotgun across his chest. He was and near the tree, or he where was standing was... right up by the tree right there. Okay. And I had all of them just kind of milling around right here. Just instantly prone everyone out. Yeah. As okay. soon as I came, I just drew down and I ordered everybody to drop. Rick, what happened tonight? He came out with the shotgun and he mistook that truck for the other neighbor's truck. Is that what you were saying earlier? Well, I was trying to figure out because when I was talking to him, why, why you got a shotgun up here? You know, okay. And he, and he said, Eric's truck. I said, it's not Eric's truck. All right, and but when you started talking about the shotgun, you were afraid of him with the shotgun too. Oh, he was acting. He was acting strange. I, I said something about, don't, why are you being crazy with the shotgun? Said, don't, don't call me crazy. Okay. You know, he was like in a kind of a threatening manner. Uh, yes, my, I, I went, I went white for a second. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Thanks. All right, man. So when I showed up, you had that shotgun in your hands. Yes, sir. You think maybe that might not have been a good idea? Yes, sir. You don't think that was a good idea? Yes, sir. Well, that's a good idea there. Listen up, why were you out here with a shotgun? Self-defense. Self-defense of what? Uh, there was a, it was an African-American male. What my, happened? My girlfriend and I came home from dinner down in the park down there. Okay. We walked up here, and my neighbor usually parks it, my neighbor parks his truck in that area right there, which is on my property right there to mailboxes. Okay. And I came home and I saw a colored fella. Okay. Okay. And he was digging in the back of the truck. And I said, hey, what's going on? I don't know you. What's happening? Oh, not much, man. Not, you know, and he, I saw him reaching down on the toolbox, so I figured it's time for me to go. You know what I mean? It's dark. There's... Okay. So you went back into your house? So I went back into my house. I went down and I got my... And I actually called you guys. Okay, because we didn't receive any phone call from 911 that says you called. Yeah. So... In a nutshell, you saw someone up there working on a truck. You thought it might have been your neighbors, and you decided to come up and confront them with a loaded working. shotgun? He wasn't working on the truck. Okay. He was going to a toolbox in the back of the truck. Okay, but you thought it was your neighbor's truck, right? Okay. All right, well, I'm just letting you know it wasn't your neighbor's truck. Okay, that was actually his truck that he was working on. Okay? Right now... Okay. Not, I mean, we understand you're trying to protect your neighborhood, but there's a problem with the law when you come out and you take the law in your own hands and you've got a loaded shotgun out in the middle of the street, especially when law enforcement responds, okay? I understand you. But it wasn't out in the street. I was still on my property. Okay. All right. You're under arrest for carrying a loaded shotgun in public, all right? Just slide back a little bit. All right. So you're working on the truck today, and yeah. what happened? Did he have the shotgun in his hands when he came out? You saw him carrying the shotgun? Oh, yeah, he had the shotgun the whole time. The whole time? That's what, that's what we want to know. We want to make sure you saw the shotgun. He walked up to you. He was holding it when he was talking to you. He talked to everybody. Okay. It's against the law to be out in public with a shotgun, especially a loaded shotgun. Mm -hmm. Getting a little crazy well, like that, loaded. threatening people. Oh, oh yeah. Loaded. Okay. So here's what's up. He's going to be arrested for that today. As soon as we get this all sorted out, you'll be free to go. All right? All right. Thank you. Stop. 
Stop. Why'd you drop around me like that? Get out of my face. Let me go. You want to act like this, you're going to get treated like this. I got called by an off-duty officer. He's telling me there's a couple of guys smoking marijuana in a blue car up here by the park. 57, go 54. Go ahead. Stop. Stop. I said, stand by. I said, be out with 737. We're at 29 at Tyler. Go ahead and start me on the unit. What's your problem, buddy? Why'd you drive around me like that? It doesn't matter if I have my lights on or not, man. A car, a cop car pulls right up in front of you, and then I point at you and yell at you, stop. Let me see some ID. Y'all got any marijuana in the car? Because I smell it. No. Go ahead and step out of the car. Do you have any weapons on you or anything? Turn around. Chance behind your back. Step right around here and have a seat. And step out. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. The reason y'all are getting put in cuss is because he tried to drive off from me and because it's just me right now. And there's three of y'all, okay? Step back, step right over here and have a seat. Have a seat. And step out, step right back over here. Kristen, chill, please. Have a seat on the curb right there. It's fine, you need to calm down. I'll tell you. Okay, I was gonna, go ahead. Go ahead. Five dollars, like a little blunt, five dollars, and we were smoking. I'll tell you that. Okay. That's it. Who was time. smoking it? You, everybody? No, just me and him over there. Just you and him? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Did you already smoke it all, or is there any more in the car? Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit more in the car? There's, yes, there's okay. Going, okay. I thank you for your honesty, okay? <laughs> the driver's sitting in the middle. He admitted that they'd been smoking some weed. The girl's only 15, so we're going to have to go over and get her mom. She said they don't have a phone at the house. What'd y'all do with that marijuana? Well, we were smoking it and then got stopped, so. Did y'all throw it out or what y'all do with it? No, no sir, no sir. Where's no, the dash? It was uh, in the cup. Did you check the cup on the dash, the marijuana? Yeah, in the they cup. dropped it in. It's... And you, young lady, you're 15, you ought to know better. I didn't do anything. Give me some, okay? Whatever. Look, you're about to- Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Let me Quit. go! Sit down. You want to act like this, you're going to get treated like this. Do you understand? Turn around and have a seat. She needs a misdemeanor sight. It'll be for possession of uh, tobacco. Okay. She's 15. You influenced her by smoking dope around a 15-year-old girl, which is endangering a child, which could be construed as a felony offense. Do you have anything in your pockets you're not supposed to have? Stand up for me. He was. He was? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sir. His driver's license is no good. OK. Let's stick him in jail on traffic. OK, well. Yes, sir. Driver's license. Well, no good. How? I don't know. Is your driver's license? You yes, sir, it is good. I got it at Boys no, last not. year. His DPS yeah. just told me it's not good. You're going to give her a misdemeanor site for possession? Tonight, yeah, though. and then we'll release her to mom. Here's mom. The driver and the passenger are going to be going to jail for uh, possession of paraphernalia. The driver also for the uh, for his driver's license being suspended. Oh. As far as your daughter goes, she's getting a citation today for minor possession of tobacco. She had made the statement that prior to leaving your house, you told her don't be out doing drugs and don't be doing nothing stupid, get in trouble with the cops. And exactly. Apparently, she took y'all for granted. Yeah. Okay. Independence Police Department right now is in pursuit of a homicide suspect uh, over on the border of where our two cities meet. We're trying to get in the area right now to meet up and help them out with the uh, with the pursuit. We're involved in this. Just to make sure you're all absolutely You're good. You're good. I gotta wait for a little. We are secondary. I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling it. 
Uh, right now, one of our officers is in pursuit of a, a vehicle pursuit of a homicide suspect. We're the secondary vehicle right now. Fifteen A, we're secondary. We'll call it. We're still eastbound on Truman. Uh, he's driving in oncoming lane. Speeds are about 40 miles an hour crossing Winchester right now. Deep breaths. Okay, he's pulling into the Quick Trip parking lot, Truman and Ewing. Uh, okay, he's going through, coming back to Ewing. Del, he just hit a car. He's been involved at the pumps. suspect here. We got another party that was in the car with him. He tried to cut through the parking lot, couldn't control the car, and hit somebody that was pumping gas. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other injuries other than this right here and then his passenger. This is our second suspect here. Doesn't look like he's injured at the time. He is in custody. So we got both parties that were in the vehicle in custody. Yeah, that's Kenneth there. He was the one driving. This guy here was in the passenger seat with him. I just saw you blink. Open your eyes up. Hey, if you're hurt, you need to tell us that you're hurt. Don't sit there and, and play with us. Wake up. He's beating strong. <laughs> he's just playing, he's just playing possum with us. We'll play, we'll play the game, that's fine. Everybody who was looking for him and involved in the pursuit is here. So it's just a matter of determining who's going to take over from here on this party. Um, an officer is going to be accompanying him to the hospital and be staying with him until he's released. Once he's released, he's going to be taken to jail where the detectives will talk to him. Uh, and eventually, he'll probably be charged with a homicide. Ron, for her? I know three for sure that I've seen her. For sure, I can yes. find out for you. Three for three, sure. Three, is okay. that including the suspect? Yes. OK. Fine. Right now, just from looking, you don't have advice. No. Kenneth, okay. Kenneth hasn't said anything. He's fake. Fire thinks he's faking. They tried to pull his eyelid down, and he's forcefully holding his eyes closed. Because they were warning us. They were like, hey, guys, he's not letting us open his eyes, so be ready when you take the cuffs off. We're all here, man. Now, this gentleman over here, this is the captain from Clay County that's heading the, the, the okay. thing. And so. this is the guy that we just had, I just had a bullet on, right? Yes. Yeah. I cannot. Sure. Okay. So he actually has a warrant for his arrest right now for the homicide out of Randolph. Nobody got seriously hurt. The bad guy's going to go to jail. Officer made a traffic stop up here on High Drug Corner. It was uh, during the stop, flagged down by a resident in an apartment complex. And she stated that someone pulled a knife on her in the uh, complex, so we're we'll see what's going on here. We got two things going on here. These guys are good down here. We're gonna go up to this apartment complex and check out the person with a knife call. Okay, where's she at? She's up there. That door should be open. Right, right. Right there. 25, we're making an entry, 21. We got a 
I call a subject refusing in a traffic stop. Apparently, fighting with officers during a traffic stop. Got two cars in a pursuit northbound Montgomery fighting with officer. Apparently he had some cocaine on his uh, person. That's why he's running. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's trying to strike officers now. He just tried to strike uh, Officer Manning. He's going to be wanted for felonious assault on a police officer. Just turn the red. We got a school here and sub suspects pulling into. He's going to get locked in. Okay. Subject in, in custody. Hey, did he have uh, cocaine on him? Yeah, I guess that's okay. what we got out. That's what we got. That's why he took off the circle. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm cooperative. They just got scared the hell out of me. Putting everybody in danger. Well, I'm, I was like Gestapo Germany in the 40s or something. These guys are telling me Go they ahead. want to search Go my ahead. car. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, said, I got nothing in the car. Why'd you run? For that little bit. I got scared. Get the out of there. Who gave you? He said for, that was for the ride. I don't want that. But I got it. Oh, the guy you dropped off? I just put it in my pocket. I don't know what the you give me. All right, bud. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on. You know? All right. You guys to the what happened? We pulled him over for improper display on his car. I got up to him and I was asking him what you know what was going on, where he was at, stuff like that. Asked him if he had anything. He told me he didn't. I said okay. I asked him again. He said no. Go ahead and check. Got him out of the car and I checked and pulled a little bag of uh, crack, tiny little bit of crack out. And then he started fighting with us. Hit. He hit Chris. That's when we called for assistance and. Uh, Somebody else came out, tased him, and... Main, main thing is nobody got hurt. All right? Uh, all right. Good Thanks. Guy. Now we're going to transport the prisoner and uh, start the paperwork. 12 Yankee Fork. It's a white two-door tinted windows. All right, we're, right now we're attempting to catch up to the uh, car and uh, see if we can get an ID on the driver. The car left the uh, scene of an accident. And uh, other city cops were trying to stop the vehicle and it's failing to stop. Yep, this is it. Yeah, that's this it. This is it. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Hey! Hey, man, turn that. Right, well, hey, you're ready to your 12 Yankee Fork. It's going to be a signal three veal. He just sideswiped us. We're northbound on 95. Uh, it's a white male occupant, long hair. All right, this guy's already hit us. He's all over the road. He's out of control. We're just trying to maintain a safe speed. What? what? You advised earlier it was a signal three felony vehicle. Watch it, watch it, watch it. All right, Brand, watch him, watch him, watch him. He's getting close to us. He's getting close. He's, he's slowing down with us. Hold on. Oh, behind us. And when he comes, come to your left. Oh, come back right. Watch him, don't get off. Watch him, don't get off. 
Watch, go to right, 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 go to right. This guy's, uh, he's already ran into us twice. Uh, we're trying to maintain a, a safe speed. He's come close to taking us out. Watch it, watch it. He's been out drinking all night. These are all drinker seats. One of our local bars. $40, $40, $30, $20. Definitely been out drinking all night. <laughs> Sit up, man. <sighs> Throw him in the Mark Jr. Yeah. Oh, that's Steve's car, Steve's car. Stand up. Let's go. <sighs> this car is involved in a hit and run with injuries. He then came up upon us, seeing us. He, he sideswiped us. He definitely has no regard for anybody's safety on the road. It's like he's on a binge drinking. Why would you ram cars and take off like that? I didn't ram no cars. How do you think everything's got all messed up here? Airbags are off, everything else. Wow. I didn't know about that. You don't know about that? No. You know the police were behind you? Did you ever see them? No. no? Not until you hit me. I'm going to search his car for anything illegal, any weapons, any, any contraband, anything like that. I'm looking at the car, it, it, it kind of looks like he's living in this car. There's a pillow in the back seat. Right here, he's got a machete, which is readily accessible, right next to him. There's uh, really no reason to have a machete in your car. I mean, this is a perfect example on why I had to take him down hard. Once he grabs it, it's a whole different ball game. You all right? You're not injured, are you? What's going on? Well, you were involved in a couple accidents tonight. Remember that? I don't know, but I don't drive because I got a suspended license. Well, you were driving. No way. Yes way. You were definitely driving. <laughs> we're attempting to catch up to a stolen vehicle, high rate of speed, and he's foot bailing. He's bailing out of the car. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! This is over Dodge Magnum. It's taken off on me. It doesn't have any license plates. We have one that's stolen on the hot sheet. It's an 07. He's taken off uh, down this residential street. Hopefully, he's going to run into another officer. Requa from Park. <laughs> Trying to catch up to a silver Dodge Magnum. We're attempting to catch up to a stolen vehicle, high rate of speed. All right, 128, myself and uh, 173 are pursued. It's going to be the stolen Dodge Magnum. We're uh, westbound on Requa, crossing Monroe. And it just blew the red light at uh, Monroe, and he's foot bailing, he's bailing out of the car. 81860, white shirt, khaki pants. Your white shirt, khaki pants. Go right towards you, go right towards you. He's running northbound towards the pool center complex. Get on the ground now, down. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Sorry. Sorry. 28, code four, one in custody. Tuck your leg under you. Oh. Get 
I mean, shoot. Huh? I was gonna shoot you with the taser. It's a good thing you went to the ground, because that would have hurt. But I appreciate you cooperating. How old are you, man? Way too old. For... You on probation or parole? I'm on probation. What for? For, um, for, um, oh, for sales. For sales? Yeah. Yeah, I'll walk him out to the shade. Hang on, let me make sure you get nothing on you, and then I'll let you stretch. You got nothing, right? No. Sit up. All right, just relax. You guys are probably doing me a favor right here. You say you're from Orange County? You know I was going to stop you when you saw me turning around, huh? It's a problem, my man. That's a stolen vehicle. But I'm sure you know that already. I bought it off somebody on the streets. I know I'm, st I'm better than that. That's a 07 Dodge Magnum. You better paid like 30 grand for that. I know. Go ahead and fold this knee in. Well, man, you're going to get the help whether you wanted it or not. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't given up his name, says so he's on probation for dope. Sales. Well, that car's been on our uh, hot sheet for about a week now, and we've been looking for it. When I saw it in the downtown area, initially it didn't have any license plates on it. When I made the U-turn to catch up to it, they started blowing stop signs. At that point, I kind of realized that was probably going to be the stolen car. This is what you're going to be charged for, Robert. In addition to your violation of probation, you'll be charged for driving a stolen vehicle, possession of stolen property, leading police on a pursuit, and then running and resisting. You understand? Sorry about that. Man. OK. Hey, um, Take thank care of yourself. Man. No, thanks, man. All right. Man, he quickly surrendered. He petered out pretty quick. I had him at once at Taser Point. He turned, slipped, and then I went ahead of him north, and he came right at me again, and then he gave up when he saw the Taser. He's trying to give me the story that he, he just bought this car, and I'm like, well, it's a 07 Dodge Magnum. Would you pay 30 grand? He goes, oh, man, I know I'm stupid. I messed up. As soon as we came around the corner, he was jumping in bill and left this car in gear and was out on foot. So he's ultimately just begging for help right now. He's got a drug problem, he says. He's on the probation for sales. It's a good chance that he's probably going to go back to prison. Uh, at least the car's not crashed. It's in one piece. It's in good condition, and nobody got hurt. He's not going to be coming down. He wants us to go up there and fight him so he can try to take one of us out. And if you take that dog on me, I'll kill him, and I'll kill myself. Right now, we're responding to assist officers. Uh, they're uh, on a domestic dispute with a suspect who had numerous warrants for his arrest and is uh, wanted for felony domestic violence. Is running from the cops now. They say they got him on a roof at the residence, so we're going to go see if we can assist. Somewhere in here. Right there. He's a supervisor. Right, I'm look, telling you right hey. now, you're only exacerbating the situation. Right, look. You're going to make things a lot worse for yourself. I'm already getting, I'm already arrested. No, you're not. Nick. You're stupider than I am. You can make this all go away a lot easier if you just come on down. Really? We're so not going to go away. Chill. We're not going to go away. You understand? So maybe, you honestly, maybe I should jump. Nicholas, maybe please. swan dive. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. No, do don't do that. because that. He's wanted for uh, felony domestic violence and uh, some warrants. He's saying he's not going to be coming down. He wants us to go up there and fight him so he can try to take one of us out. Where's the female at? Female I uh, got transported to the uh, hospital. She had a big old lump on the top of her head. All right. Send it away. Well, I'm going to go over there, and you guys are going to have a big fight. 
Oh, for on the far west side. Your mother Gloria is coming in a red car. And she'll be here momentarily. I want my mom. He's agitated. He's been drinking. And he wanted his girlfriend arrested, so we um, kind of our, did what he asked. He wanted to arrest her for domestic, so we arrested her. Did what he wanted, but now he's not willing to come down. So uh, we're going to take the next step and uh, hopefully force him uh, uh, to voluntarily give up and uh, not harm himself. Hey, Uncle Bill's going to be with us the whole way, okay? Yeah, your uncle can go with you. No, no, you will no, Uncle Bill. No, you don't have to lay down. When you get down, it's going to put you in handcuffs. Good, you're doing the right thing, man. Keep coming. Good job, man. All right, hey, put your hands behind your back. Spread your legs for me. Relax, relax. All right, it's going to be all right, man. You did the right thing. Let me get you a cup of water, right? You will sit down and talk about it. Ma'am, who are me? Yes, ma'am. Who are you doing all this? I'm the mom. I'm oh, you're the mom? Yeah, I, you know what? Six months ago, she went back to and lived with her mom, and somehow she ended back up here again. Okay. So when I got a call from him, he said Kelly had done some real ugly stuff. She had set him up. That he took the, it's not his son, it's her son. Okay. Took him swimming. She went to one of the stores, either Target or Walmart or both, and sold over five hundred dollars for clothes and bought it back. When or who hit her? I don't know because I wasn't here. Okay. What he's afraid of with the police is because he's got some petty warrants and he didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. He's saying that she set him up because she know of those warrants and she knew he was going to go to jail. So I've seen her do this before, too. Looks like he's going to be transported to uh, the Rialto Police Station for further uh, investigation and he's going to uh, probably eventually be taken to local hospital for a mental health evaluation. to back up one of our units who has a 211 suspect, basically an armed robbery suspect from this morning. That's him right there. Keep your hands up in the air. Walk backwards. I'm sending them to you. Stop. Go to your right. Right step to your right. Right step to your right. Keep walking forward. Keep going. I got cuffs, Sergeant. Keep going. Stop. Start walking backwards tomorrow, my voice. Keep walking backwards. backwards. Stop. Put your hands on top of your head. And lace your fingers. Spread your feet. Do you have anything on you this about? No. How much money do you have on you right now? Should be uh, close to 200. Close to 200? Yes. OK, get in the car. Yeah. All right, Cynthia, we already know that you were involved earlier today. All right, we, we got the witness in, on their way here to do an NPL lineup, all right? So right now, right now, you can tell us, say what happened. Let us know beforehand. You know, I don't know if you were just. A, what? You know what? Don't play stupid right now. I don't know right what. You ain't told me what. You just saying you know I was involved in what. Okay, so you weren't involved in any theft earlier today. No. You don't want to talk about your? Uh, is that your boyfriend with you? That's my fiance. That's your fiance. You don't know if he was involved in anything earlier today. We was together today. All right, stick to that story. How old are you, Tyro? I'm 19. 19. Why'd she say you took the money? I didn't take no money. I don't even know what y'all was talking about. She told us that we didn't stop immediately at the stop sign, which I was trying to see across both ways of the street before okay. I exit up. I mean, we're not talking about the uh, stop sign violation anymore. We're talking about a robbery that happened earlier, a purse snatching. I don't know nothing about no robbery, sir. Well, right now, your girl's saying that you did it, so right now's your time to talk. I didn't snatch nobody's purse. I don't have nothing else to say. OK. All right, you can go to jail for it. Have a nice day. Male driver doesn't have a driver's license anyway, so we're going to tow it for 30 days. And then we'll just collect the evidence that way. All right, then we'll go back to the station. We'll get the eyewitness and uh, see the still pictures and everything, see if we can get him ID'd. He wants to talk to me, so I'm going to take him back to my office and see what he has to say. OK. And we'll go from there. Cool. All right, I'll let you guys know what happens. He looked like he wanted to say something, but he didn't yeah, want to say something to. in front of her. He wants to talk. Right now we're waiting for the victim to come in and hopefully they can positively ID the still pictures and the photo lineups that we have. Right over here, ma'am. Take your time. Remember, ma'am, these, these may or may not be the suspects here. Anything familiar in the pictures, just go ahead and point it out, either one, two, three, four, five, or six. 
like two. Number two? Yeah. And number two? You said number two? All right. So um, we're going to go try to recover your purse so we can get that back to you. Okay. Okay. For that money, sir. Right now, uh, uh, Detective Jones is interviewing the suspect uh, who did this purse snatching earlier. I lost a total of $20. The person who got their purse snatched, I witnessed them picking up my $20. It wasn't out. Before I got a chance to get to her to tell her that that was my twenty dollars that she picked up, she had drove off. Okay. So I proceeded in following her, and when she stopped, I got out the car, uh, told the lady basically that you picked up my money. She proceeded and keep on going. Okay. And that's when I took the purse. All right. I regret taking the purse, but it's hard for me to come, come uh, uh money to come by me, being that I can't find a job. It's not like I ain't looking. And I was telling our detective that. He bought some clothes, and he was going to give his girlfriend some money for the rent. So, yeah, he's also saying that the female subject that we got is uh, also the driver of the vehicle when this all happened. I'm booking her as an accessory to robbery, okay? Because that's what you did. You robbed her. And because of the amount of money that was in the purse, it's also grand theft. Because the two of you were together, and she drove you away from the scene of a crime, you guys went together. That's also conspiracy. And because of the victim's age, that's also elder abuse. That's four felonies right there. Ma'am, is this your purse? Mm -hmm. One of our officers located it. Strange hanging all off of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of our officers located it exactly where the guy, the suspect, told us it was. Mm -hmm. We got the okay. suspects in custody, and mm -hmm. they're going to go to jail for it. A caller reported that he's trying to impound a vehicle, but the owner got in the vehicle and won't get out. I ran the subject's name, and it looks like he has a misdemeanor warrant locally for aiming or discharging a weapon. So. Hey, Keith. Stanley, white male in his 40s. I saw he had a warrant. Let's detain him for now. Yeah. Is he still in the truck? Yep. Still in there? Yeah. Hey, Stanley. Do you have any weapons on you? Absolutely none. Okay, I'm gonna have you step out for a okay. I will not step out. Okay, well I think we have a warrant for your arrest. Get out of the car. I will not step out. Okay. Get out of the car! 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 Okay. When we say get out of the car, we mean get out of the car, Stanley. You understand us? Yes. Do you have any weapons on you? I don't even have my license on you, man. Okay. That'd be a no, wouldn't it? 440 County, we have one in custody after pepper spray. Units are coming to the 513 arriving next to the car. Are you going to be able to stand up? Not without help. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Here. Here we go. Ready? Up. Hello. Sorry, I'll be off. Five And let's go back this way. Watch the glasses. Watch the glasses. Okay. I got it. Stanley, did you know about your warrant? If I have a warrant, yes, I know what it is. It's a failure to pay on a... Pointing a firearm or something? Yeah, aiming or, aim or discharging a firearm. I was illegally convicted due to the complete incompetency of my so-called private public defender. So are you saying you didn't know about your warrant? No, I, I was aware of it. OK, how come you haven't taken care of it yet? Because I will not pay for a stupid ticket. OK, I'll help you. Turn. To your right. And then sit straight back. Watch your head. Well, we'll take care of that warrant tonight. How come you wouldn't get out of your truck after we asked you to a couple times? I wouldn't get out of the truck because I knew that was going to tow it, and there's absolutely no reason for him to tow it. Is it? There's a disabled sticker in the window. Okay, well, my partner told you to get out of the car. You said no. I said, well, Stanley, you have a warrant for your arrest. You need to get out now. <laughs> then you refused, okay? Was I violent in any way? Doesn't matter. Was it, I violent in any way? No, I wanted to argue the point with you. Well, when you got a warrant for your arrest, it's hard to argue that. Well, yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, I'll talk to the tow driver real quick and see what okay. the disposition of that's going to be. All right. All right. What's your side of the story on the tow? My side of the story is it's an illegal tow. There's a disabled sticker right there in the window. Are they repoing it or just towing it because it's in a uh, it's disabled spot? It's because it's in a disabled parking lot. Okay. I told him I'd get out as soon as he put it on the ground. Okay. So it's being towed because it's in a handicapped spot. Yeah. All right. 
Do you have any disabled placards or anything on your uh, truck? Disabled placards on the dashboard. Oh, there is one on the dashboard. Yeah, it wasn't on there whenever he hooked up to it. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't there. It was laying in the floor. I that's probably why they called the tow truck, just because your placard wasn't uh, visible. Yeah, and when I walked out and told him that I am a disabled driver, yeah. he should have put it back down, because it was an illegal tow. You know, unfortunately, once they hook a car up like that, they won't pay, put it down unless you, until you pay them. So what, what exactly happened here? He's going to private impound. He admitted that when you got here, he didn't have the placard on his car. Yeah. And he put it on once he saw you. it was already hooked up. Truck. Yeah. So yeah. hooked up to it. And sure. And you just waited for us at that point? Yeah. Yeah, I just called the guys up. OK. Unfortunately for him, he's going to owe the tow truck uh, company money to get his truck back, and he's going to jail for on his warrant. <laughs>